Good morning, North America. Good morning, Canada. Good morning to all travel country. Good morning to the people of the Middle East alongside the children of Israel. The war. I pray to God this hour that those that in war, especially in the Middle East, that God Himself will grant them peace. A peace that will take them to come up with a plan for the people of Palestine and, and the children of Israel to live side by side. And there be peace and no war, no destruction, no taking of life, children, hospital being bombed, mistake being made. And all and everything that humanly possible that will pray to God that He will bring war to an end in the Middle East. Praise the Lord. And also shout out to all Muslims that going through the time of Ramadan. That the focus of Ramadan should be the end of war and conflict so that the elderly Islam and children and women will find peace to live. God gave order of life to live, not to be destroyed, especially the things that we can sit around the table result. Amen. So this morning my message is to Dr. Allen White. Dr. Allen White that came by this morning asking you not to fret. I see you Dr. Allen White not to give up on Liberia. Because our nation have about 90% bad people as compared to good people. And those who fighting against the war and economic crime code are part of the bad people that do not wish to see peace for those who those whose lives they have already destroyed. Don't give up, Dr. White. There's more people who need you in Liberia than the few evil ones that don't need you. Don't give up. Your name will be written in the book of law the day Liberia will return to peace. Our nation cannot be a country where everybody can take gun and kill anybody and just kill people. Look at the six years. The amount of librarians that die in the street, that die at the hands of evil people and they justify their death. Their death. Is that how our nation is going to be? Excuse me to say, I want to talk to the librarian people. You look at that other uh, boy, his complexion. He's a white man. And we are black people that are killing each other. What is it that we don't see to help ourselves and Dr. Allen help? The Dr. Allen boy sees it. He did not say, oh, I don't care about those people, the African. They are all serious people. No. Because his nation, the United States of America, has stood with Liberia since its founding in 1820. Independence 1847, America has been our traditional friend. They have stood with us in many ways. And in other ways, we stood with them when there were World War I and World War II 
Liberia stood with America. America recognized that. And today, it's not surprising for Dr. Alan White to make sure that peace returns. And those who committed impunity in our country to be called to book, to clear themselves. It's not a wish hunt. It's a legal proceeding that will allow you to go and clear yourself. It was easier for you to kill people and destroy them, murder them in every other format. Now that we're talking about judgment and then you order you people making stupid noise. Don't give up, Dr. White. 90% of librarians need you. Those children that lives have been destroyed through the war, they need to be rehabilitated. How can we do it when we have killers who are just waiting for the least opportunity to kill them, to begin killing them again? Don't give up, Dr. White. <clears throat> the good librarians are with you. They know what you are doing and they appreciate you. I appreciate America that apart from the World Crime Code Tribunal in Liberia begin to push for security, to beef up security if it means bringing in the Marine to back the AFL during the time of that trial. Let the Marine come and, 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 and be deployed in Liberia along with West African Special United Nations forces to provide peace for the Boaca administration because I heard people talking about as far as I'm concerned, Boaca have accomplished his 100 day target of the administration. He has accomplished the greatest ever as far as concerned just by signing the resolution and the Senate, Dara Dillon and other people who stood the ground for the Senate to sign into the World Crime Court. And Dillon, I want to promise you today that you will be rewarded for fighting for your nation, for being consistent. Certain time I got, certain time I got frustrated with you but then later on, I turn to the good thing that you're doing for our country. And it was understandable at the time because you're kind of almost like a lone hero that was fighting to bring peace to our country. Senator Dillon, I just want to congratulate you and thank you. And make sure you're working along with Dr. White to achieve when it was time to carry Taylor to jail, like I said always, everybody in the street, they were dancing in the street. Now that other people need to answer questions, it become a problem. We have seven factions, and those seven factions, an ex-general that's been disbursed in our nation, involved with killing and criminal act, those people need to be brought to book. Go to court. Take lawyer, defend yourself. And when you're free, you'll be free. When you're not free, you will face justice for all Liberian. Because we are not even started the process of facing country because nothing can be prosperous in Liberia with the kind, kind of children, the future leader, they are all in the street, no education, nothing. They only know criminal act to live, to do criminal activities in order to live. How can we have such a country like that? Foreigners coming underneath all the devastation and, and taking up billions of dollars out of the country. The money that's supposed to be used to rehabilitate the children all going to different countries because we decided they are deployed people all in the bushes in Liberia digging gold and diamond, river says Sano, all of these places, West African country around or have deployed people in the bushes, they're just digging. 
when the people who are supposed to benefit from the resources are in the street. Our women, our girls, young children, future leaders, they are all in the street. Then you sitting on there talking stupid thing about Dr. White. You got mansion. Where did you get money for to build those huge infrastructure that you people got? Is that your salary that you use? Huh? Where did you people get money to build those kind of mansion? Right? Thank you for listening. And Dr. White, we're going to pray for you. I put you before the throne of God that the blessing of God will be upon you as you try to help to bring peace to Liberia and stability and finding ways to remove the kids from in the street and put them into good classes with good teachers. May God bless Liberia. May God bless the work of your hand, Dr. Allen White. And those Liberians and the senators who have signed on for the court and I urge them to move to the next step to make sure that the court is planted with international judges. I would suggest that United Nations bring in the International Court of Justice lawyers from there to head those courts alongside with selected lawyers in Liberia. Accomplished lawyers, not just anyone. Accomplished lawyers, years of experience to be a part of that court alongside the international judges. May God bless our land. And God bless you and have a blessed, blessed, blessed day. God bless. Amen.